Good morning, my friends. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to just show you what I look like because I think this is a really perfect visual, visual, we all know I can't talk, of what the past week of my life has looked like. I feel terrible. I look terrible. I have to say though, my skin, since my hydrofacial, my skin is skinning. She looks bright. She looks smooth. I just feel disgusting. I really need to wash my hair. Full disclosure. I don't even, I don't even need to tell you these things, but you know, I always tell you things that you don't need to know. I haven't washed my hair in a week and a day. So I need to get myself together. I'm hoping that if I can get my outsides to look better, my insides will look better. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. I need to get ready. I'm going to lunch with my mom and my sister. And my sister texted me and was like, oh, I'm gonna pick up mom. What time do you wanna go? And I literally, my response was, whenever you guys wanna go works for me. I just need to shower and make myself presentable because I look terrifying. Cause I look terrifying. And this is just like the reality of life. This room is a mess. I cleaned up my vanity a little bit, but oh my God, there were like layers upon layers upon layers of makeup. Um, yeah, I've just been in a funk. I haven't been feeling good. I haven't really, um, I've just not been like great. And I don't know, but I'm hoping that I'm starting to feel better because it is gonna be October 1st. Actually, when is October 1st? Is it Monday? No, Tuesday and I'm ready to Halloweenify the home. So I want to clean the home. I want to get it in order. And then hopefully I will have the energy to decorate. Um, Mike bought me quite a few new Halloween decorations, which I'm very excited about. He bought something for the front lawn, which I never thought in a million years would ever happen because he always says, which I don't disagree, but he's always like, oh, it's such a waste of electricity, which it is. And that's not good for the planet. And that's not something that I support, but oh my God, it's so cute. Also want to check out this bakery that's around the corner. I've been dying to go to this bakery. It's like a Northern Italian inspired bakery. The owners are like straight off the boat from Italy. And we all know how I feel about that. I wish that I could speak Italian. I don't know what we're doing tonight. We might go to my brother-in-law's to plan Italy because we're supposed to go to Italy next year, which, you know, fingers crossed, I, I'm dying to go back to Italy. I've been back on my Duolingo vibe. I think tomorrow we're going to some kind of like food festival, like a fall festival in Morristown. But again, I think really depending upon how I'm feeling. So today I'm gonna dip my toes in the water. That will be lunch with my mother and my sister. And we'll see how it goes from there. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a before. I'm also like contemplating if I should work out. I feel like I'd feel better if I work out, but I don't know if I'm like up to working out like physically. I wanna like stand in the shower for a good like five minutes and just like wash the week off of me. I wanna shave my legs. I just, there's a lot of things that I don't wanna do, but I know that I'll feel better once I do. So let's do them together. And if you're having a shit day, if you had a shit week, cheers to us. Cause girlfriend, we made it to the weekend and at least we're here, you know? I don't know. Part of the mess. Suitcase is out because we're going to Napa shortly, but I don't know. I, I got this dress from Rent the Runway. I'm a little upset though. It's a bit wrinkly. I need to leave in the next five minutes. So I do not have time to remedy the wrinkles. And I also didn't have time to do my hair. So <laughs> my hair's wet. I feel better now that I'm a little bit more sophisticated looking and I'm honestly out of my pajamas. I've been in my pajamas for the last like three days. I showered, I washed my hair, whipped out my Bruno Magli heels from this closet. Fall is upon us. I like this slit. Can you see it's like pleated? It's black and navy, which honestly is always my favorite combo for fall winter. And then I'm wearing my YSL. I think this is the small Lulu bag. I will link it down below. Mike bought this for me for my birthday during COVID. This is like my first true designer bag. If you watched my designer handbag video, you know the spiel, um, but this is the fit. And then I'm pretty sure this was my mom's necklace that she gave to me. Look how pretty it is. Again, I did a jewelry collection video. If you missed that, I'll link it down below as well. But this was not mentioned in it because I never really wear it. So I went through all of my pieces and yeah, I've just been trying to wear more of my things that I don't normally wear because I know highly anticipated decluttering video but I'm just like honestly decluttering my whole life. So it's taking some time, but hopefully it will be well worth the wait. I know some of you guys really love decluttering videos. It's a bit manic though, because like I said, I can't just like dedicate six hours of my life 
to decluttering my home. So whenever I have 20, 30, 40 minutes to an hour, I just pick a section. But yeah, I'm like annoyed that this suitcase is here, but I don't know what to tell you. But this is the fit. I don't know. Poofy, comfortable, black. Oh my God, I forgot to zip myself up. So <laughs> let me do that really quickly. Okay, so now here is the finished fit. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, I'm gonna grab a water, and I need to get on my way. Let me know, what do we think? I'm just trying to wear things I, I normally don't wear, like this necklace, like this bag. Um, oh, and then for earrings, I have these little earrings that I bought with my sister. I think we were at TJ Maxx a few years ago and I just stumbled upon them. And yeah, they should pop, they should be polished. I didn't polish them, whatever, my usual stack. Um, and I've been wearing this Cartier bracelet a lot, bracelet. I Cartier watch a lot because I just haven't been wearing my Apple watch. I just feel more like this is laid back off duty fortune. You know, I don't need to get pinged every five minutes. I'm not at work. So I'm wearing my weekend watch. All right, guys, let's go. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I need to pack tampons also. So let me grab those. I just pulled up. <laughs> Thank God I joined the wait list before I left because it said 45 minutes to be seated. But I forgot to tell you what lip I'm wearing. And given that I just got here, I'm gonna touch up. I'm gonna share. I'm wearing Koki in Dusty Rose, which is a drugstore lip liner. Y'all know me. I like a high end and a low end. A little bit of a combo. So that's the lip liner. And then I'm wearing my Dior. This is the 001 lip glow. Really cute, easy. I hate like parallel parking and like watching people parallel park in front of my car because I get so nervous that they're gonna smash my car. God forbid anything happened to Betty, God forbid. Because I had a dream about my dad last night that he called me and told me that he found me like this really old Mercedes Benz, like a black Benz from like early 2000s and it had like 30,000 miles on it. And he sent me like the screenshot and he goes, with your down payment, you'll only owe $200. That'll need to be financed. So I called him and he was like, can you come pick me up in the next half an hour? Let's go buy this car. So I just, I'm nervous that God forbid something's gonna happen to Betty because why, I mean, knock on wood, you know, there's no wood in here, but knock on my skull and nothing happens to Betty because I will be upset um, so hopefully that dream wasn't a premonition. It was just me thinking about my dad. That's the lip. Hydrating. I've been a nervous wreck, as we all know. So I've been chewing the shit out of my lips. But no more. I have turtles for my mom. So hopefully they'll get here soon. And I'm going to go check in with the restaurant and see how long we're actually going to have to wait. They texted me at 1130 and said it would be 40 minutes. So it's 1204. So hopefully it'll be ready now. So let's go. Wasted down the street, they might need your help. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm sleeping. That's bad. Oh, oh, you're not taking a picture. I am. Don't take a picture. Right here. You're not in it. Just your food. God forbid. And my boobs. Get a picture of me yeah, biting into it. Out there in the world. A terrible coffee. After I just, oh, just. This is the preview of it because this is the first time we're seeing it. It's so cute. Oh, it has a light in it. Yeah. Can you keep this in the house? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so it's cute. Loud, right? I love it. It's not that bad. Where's my cat? He looks very upset. He's very upset. He looks bothered. He's not the only cat here. Mm. I feel like you need like tea with it. Can you cut it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. They had this one. They had Nutella, and then they had a vanilla. I really, I wanted the vanilla, but this Which was the last one. I just want a little sliver. Yeah, that's good. Mm. It looks like an olive. Just dip it? Mm. Yeah. That was a good idea. Because there's no cream in this one. Oh, so take a middle piece. Thoughts? Okay. It's good? Mm -hmm. Wanted a cheese Danish, but they didn't have any. That's what I would have went for. Mm. Wow. That's good. Mm. Wow. That's really good. I kind of wish it was vanilla though. Wow. I wish I had gotten myself together this morning enough to do my hair like this. However, it was misting 
like insane. We got to lunch. I had such a nice time with my mom and my sister, but I got there and I tried to like find my mom and my sister because I showed you guys like I had turtles. So I wanted to bring them to the car. Thankfully, my mom had a bag that was big enough to hold said turtles, but I was walking and like trying to find them and whoa, it was just like a misting day. Then after lunch, we went to the bakery that I wanted to go to. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try the sandwiches. I bought the croissant, pistachio croissant that I showed you, so good. And then I got a burrata and salami sandwich and a, I think it was like a mutz tomato and prosciutto sandwich. I can't wait to eat them. But we walked from lunch to the deli. It's a bakery, technically Italian bakery. And then we walked back and my hair was just, I was soaked. So I guess it worked out, but I tried to curl my hair the way that my hairstylist curls it. I asked her to show me when I was there. I always do this thing though. Like I don't curl my hair. I take time off. I get lazy. And then when I try to do it, I can't do it the same way on both sides. Like this side I did first and it's outwards. And this side I did second and it's inwards. So I don't know. I also, I just want to see if it will last because the Dyson doesn't last in my hair. So, and I'm sick of it. So I still use the Dyson. I blow dried my hair. And then I used this hair curler that my sister actually bought for my birthday. Yes, my birthday is in April. Yes, this is the first, literally the first time that I opened it. But this is by the brand Maine. One and a half inch curling iron. So it's pretty thick. And I like it. I feel like it did a good job. It has a digital read. I put it to 360, curled my hair. I mean, it took a decent amount of time, but I only think that's just because I have no idea what I'm doing. But this is the hair. I'm not mad. I think it looks better than what my hair looks like when I Dyson air wrap it, but we shall see. My mom really loved my outfit today. Although I went to Westfield. I don't know if you know this, but like the Adams family, like the guy, I think I'm going to mess this up, but Google it. I guess, I mean, I could just Google it. If I'm telling you the story, I should get my facts straight. Charles Adams lived in Westfield, permanent residence on Elm Street and stayed there. And that inspired the Adams family. I don't know. So we were walking around Westfield and it was funny because the first thing that my mom said when she saw me was that I look like I'm dressed as a witch. And then my sister didn't hear her and then she said it later on and then we were surrounded by all of like Adam's family murals. Like Westfield is like a Halloween town. I'm here for it. They had a bunch of like murals of the Adam's family, but I just felt very in my element. And then I came home and I showed you guys like Mike bought that lawn, the cat and the pumpkin. He blew that up to see what it looked like in the living room. It's so cute. So I don't know what we're doing. It's been very gloomy. It's been dark. It's been depressing. I don't think we have plans. I honestly might take this little witchy dress off and put some sweats on and maybe we'll decorate the home for Halloween because I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but I need to film a video tomorrow. Obviously I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. We're gonna go to Morristown, I think, and we're gonna go to that like little, they're having like a, um, a fall festival kind of thing. So there's gonna be like food trucks and whatnot. So maybe tonight we decorate or we just sit, I don't know. I'm bored and I'm tired of sitting here, but the weather and how I'm feeling, I just feel tired and very lethargic. But I gotta say showering, Shaving, washing my hair, doing my hair, putting some makeup on. I feel a lot more human than I have felt the last week, especially the last few days. So when in doubt, I just feel like sometimes you just gotta pick yourself up, get yourself ready for the day to kind of just like fake it till you make it. And I feel like for me, it really like helps with my mental health. This is how the weather has made me feel. Just like I have a filter over my face because it's so dark and depressing out. Like I really, I need the sun and my hair. Guys, I feel like it's already falling out. So random, but I have to tell you, I don't own any like full size underwear. It's just, I don't like panty lines. I don't like the feeling of them, but I just, I came to the realization I need some underwear to like sleep in, especially when it's that time of the month because I wanna start wearing pads more often now that I'm learning more about tampons and how a lot of them are terrible for you and you really shouldn't be sleeping with them, okay? Do not judge me, but that has been my life for a very long time. I am turning corner. Who's texting me right now? I don't know, I'm, I have to look. I don't know where my phone is, honestly. Sorry, ignore that, that's so annoying. Like I hate when I watch people's video and you just like hear a phone dinging because I, I think it's my phone. Who is that? Okay, it's my family, it's my family chat. Um, These are really good. I bought them on Amazon, I will link them down below. I got black, 
because of said reason that I'm using them, but they're like high-waisted cotton underwear and they are granny panties. I'm going to tell you wholeheartedly, but my God, they are so comfortable. I opened them and was like, those look very large, but they fit me perfectly. They're so comfortable. I can't get enough of these. These are like the perfect sleep underwear. Like if you're someone that sleeps in underwear, which I am not, but I might become a person now. Like these granny panties, chef's kiss. I just had to tell you, I know it's weird, but <sighs> these have been a favorite. Are you gonna do half and half with me? What are the two that you got? Salami and burrata. And then I got, I think it's brisciut, tomato, and mutts. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Wow. I didn't say that. You can't eat. You have a little? You want me to pour you some? Yeah, but not a lot. Okay, I'll just give you a little bit. Buena Vista 2021, the Count's Selection Cabernet. I feel like we need to do what we normally do and start getting into the tasting of the wine before we go to like see what we like. Even though we're not going Buena Vista this time. What a sound. Oh wow, it smells really good. Is that is that how much you want or you want more? How much is it? The bread smells good, mm -hmm. I'd say. The wine smells, I think even better, honestly. Did you sniff it? Smells delicious. Smells so good. Are you looking up how much it is? Yeah. Trying to find it on our website. 2021? Yeah. Like, oh, 50 bucks. No, that's 2022 though. What was it? It's cab? Cab? Did that not say cab? Well, you got a lot of the count selection. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. That's all right. Don't love it. I love it. I just feel like when we went there the first time, mm -hmm. we absolutely loved it while we were there. And then we loved the wine that we had when we got home. Well, and I feel like the last every time year it's was kind of wines. That's true. I'm, I know grapes. Different harvest. What do you think of the sandwich? Pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I like the bread. It's like really thin. It's like cozy. No. Like the restaurant? Yeah, the old restaurant, Cozy. No? I think that's insulting. Well, Cozy made their own bread. Okay. It was insulting just because it was a chain. Let's try the wine with the food, though. We should do, like, a private tasting there. Where? I don't know. Farn... Farnolio? Farnolio? Farniente. No, the place I went today, the bakery. Oh. Farnolio? It means, I don't know how you say flour. It's flour and oil is the name of it. Oh, I thought you were saying it means, I don't know how to say flour. No, it means flour and oil, the bakery that I went to, but I don't know how you say flour. Got it. So I'm not remembering what it's called. Mm -hmm. Farnolio? I don't know. Anyway, they said they do events. I told you that. And then they do like private dinners. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do like a holiday party. How do you spell it? F-A-R-I-N-O-L-I-O. Mm -hmm. Farnolio in Westfield. Yeah, that's it. It's super cute. Wow, I don't really like salami. But this salami is really good. Ugh. Have I told you how much I absolutely love this bag? I'm pretty sure they still sell it at Gianni Carini, but this little eggplant bag, I just, I love the bucketness that it is like I just throw my entire my entire life is in here and it's just it's so nice like so many things look at this look at the matches that I took for Mike from that place that we went today for lunch look at the crown it's so cute and then the little bunny with the crown I'm gonna take that out so I can give that to him however I was looking for my lip glow my lips are on fire I just keep eating them I keep biting them it is a me problem I can't get over how dark it is, how dark it's been. I hate that the sun goes down at like 645, but we went to Walgreens because I feel like I just really live at Walgreens and we touched upon my underwear. Yeah, I bought some full undies so that I don't use tampons at night. Is this TMI? I don't know, but I'm trying to do like a revamp for my 
feminine health because I've just, I've gone into a rabbit hole of like terrible toxins that are in tampons and it's upsetting me. And I know I can do the cup and like no shade to those of you that do it. I just, I'm not there yet. I think I need to take baby steps. So I went to Walgreens, like I just said, and I bought a bunch of pads. I don't, guys, I don't know. I have not entered this world in a very long time. I actually can't remember the last time I wore a pad. I bought these, which I like. These are maxi pads, Walgreens. I didn't realize that pads come in so many sizes. This is size four out of five, but these have been good. These are just for when I go to sleep. Hence why I got those underwear. I guess they all come in five sizes. So I got this one. That's the first size. These are always. And I like that these have wings so that you can like fold them over the sides of the center so it stays in place. So I don't know, I got these. I also really liked the look of these. There are no wings on this one, but they're just like super thin. So I thought these would be good towards the end of my cycle, just as like a little panty liner. I got more of the overnight ones. Did I get the right one? Yeah, I bought more overnight ones. So I don't know, but if any of you are well-versed in the period world, the pad world. Please let me know down below. Like, what do I do? I just don't know. I just, I feel like it's like a diaper. And I really, I don't like it when I'm sleeping, but it is what it is. And I've just, I've read too many things about too many nasty ingredients, which why would anyone put ingredients like that into something that they know goes into women? It's just mind boggling to me. I also wanted to give you this tip. Now I am a sweaty Betty. This is my favorite deodorant. I use anything aside from this. It just doesn't work, but this is the secret 72 hour clinical strength. I like to use the completely clean. I like the one that's the clear gel. So it has like the holes at the top. Can you see that? This is just the one that I like. I started doing this thing where in the morning I put my deodorant on and then I take my blow dryer, like my hair dryer. I put it on the coolest setting and then I dry my deodorant in my armpit down. TMI, I know there's a lot, but I just like to share these things because these things are like life changing for me. Now I use that deodorant, but I find that deodorant takes a long time to dry. And then I think like as it's drying, if I get sweaty, like the deodorant kind of just locks my body odor in. But if I dry it, I find that I don't smell at all by the end of the day. And I am someone where I sweat a lot and I also get like nervous sweats from my armpit. So I've just been doing that. I've literally been taking it, putting it under my arm, under my arm, and then taking my air dryer on the coolest setting and just like drying out my pits. I don't know, but I'm telling you, I smell better at the end of the day. And it's been really nice. It's actually been wonderful. And I just had to share because you guys know, I love to share all these things. I didn't show you my outfit that I wore. My mom bought me this shirt, I think, for Christmas last year. It's super soft. It's from, Banana Republic fact. No, it's from Banana Republic. She bought me everything from Banana Republic. I cut a pomegranate today for the first time. I cut two. It took me like 20 minutes. It takes a very long time. And I didn't realize that the pomegranates shoot all over you. So I got a little bit of pomegranate juice on my chest. I used a trusty little Tide pen and I think it's out. So thank God for that. I'm just, I can't with this bag. And I, I, I told myself today, Todd's came out with this super cute bag. It kind of looks like an Hermes Constance. It has the prettiest like T Gold's hardware. What's happening? What's happening? He can't hear me. Anyway, I was looking at them in bed last night. So cute. And you know, my last name is Tarantola. So I love a T and I love gold hardware and I might get it. I'm not saying that I'm not going to get it, but I really don't need any more handbags, but because I look at bags like this and you know what happens? I love this bag. I will gravitate towards this bag the most in fall and winter, but then also I started taking this lady out and I love her too. So I really, I don't need any more handbags. It's like a sin for me to buy anything, but yeah, they're just a vibe. Like I just, I love, this is like chic but also like laid back at the same time. And then this one is clearly like a bit chicer, but I just, I really love both of these handbags and I feel like I'm gonna use them so, so much. While we're talking about handbags, I really just like hate this strap. I don't know what it is. I feel very sad. 
I should have never bought it. Um, it's a great length. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm definitely going to wear it. I just feel like if given the choice between these two bags, I will pick this one because I like the strap so much better. And even like these two, because I feel like these two are more comparable to one another. I just like this strap better. This, I feel like it's heavy. It kind of like falls off my shoulder and it's slippery a little bit because it's metal. Whereas this is like plastic and woven. So I feel like it stays in place. I'm sorry for all the impromptu things, but I've just been cleaning like crazy. And this room is still a mess. I honestly didn't even show you the room yesterday when it was a disaster but I need to continue to clean. I need to decide what I'm gonna paint my nails. Maybe you guys can help me because this video will go up before I will have left for Napa. But October, I like to do October colors. We all know I love to paint my fingernails like fun things. I have black onyx. I don't know which one to wear to Napa. Should I wear this to Napa because it's like California, it's a little bit warm. I don't know, but I just, I love black too. I wanna paint my nails because I really wanna use these decals. They're so cute. I showed you guys these in my last vlog. What is he doing? He's such a noise maker, my guy. But I don't know, let me know which one you think I should wear for Napa. I'm leaning towards, I'm leaning towards orange. But the problem is that when I'm filming this, we don't leave for Napa for, let's see, a week and two days. So nine days. And it's like, if I paint my nails today, I'm gonna have to repaint them for Napa. So I think I'm just gonna take my nail polish off today. But either way, I'm gonna show you my nail polish painting because I will have painted them before I upload this. I feel a little crazy, I feel a little neurotic, but oh, I wanted to show you these little mouse pads that I bought too. When I'm working, I need, <laughs> look at this mouse pad. I need a wrist rest, otherwise my wrist hurts me. So I needed a new one for home. So I think I'm gonna keep this one at home, I don't know. And then I got this Halloween inspired one, but it's like subtle Halloween. You know me. I got this and it's like, yes it has bats, but it's not, it's like subtle. And if my mouse is on it, I feel like this will be good for work because it's like a subtle, subtle Halloween thing. So I think I'm gonna bring this one to work, but how cute are the two of these? I'm gonna bring this one to work and I'm gonna use this one at home. The one that I have is like really disgusting. But you know me, I just like, I hate throwing things out, but this has like coffee stains all over it. Like it's not pink anymore. It's just like, I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna put the cat one down and I'll show you what the cat one looks like. Just to show you like how big of a mess it's been in here. I'm just, here is the display of a mess like i have jewelry everywhere i just have shit everywhere look at look at my look at my couch this is unacceptable can we pee here no can we be here is the teddy bear all right okay. i hope he's all right what a time what a time what a time it's such a beautiful day singing in the rain singing in the rain beautiful weekend pre-wedding night dinner. oh yeah what about the pre-wedding night dinner all your clothes. I did. And we had to drive back home at 9 30. Yeah, I forgot my whole suitcase of wedding things. What a disaster. <laughs> wow, I mean, wow, wow, wow. How much better is this? How much better? I mean, it's dark and it's depressing. But look, I could sit here tomorrow and do my makeup and not be like overwhelmed. I mean, my desk is kind of small. It's not very deep, so it feels a little overwhelming anyway, but at least she's clean. She's clean. I still have a little bit of mess here. I have things I need to put away, but I just can't tonight. And here is my desk. I'm a little bit of a chaotic mess. I don't know, it makes sense to me. Look at my mouse pad. Oh, how stinking cute. I love fall. Happy fall, y'all. Look, oh my god, look at me. I'm just so cute on my laptop working. Ugh, this is a big improvement, guys. Come on, look at this. Do you know what? I started cleaning and I started packing for Napa just because I figured, I mean, we have some time before we're going, but I just feel like we have so many like events coming up. Oh my god, we went to that festival today in Morristown. It's, it's called Festival on the Green. Oh my god, I'm looking at this squirrel and he's just sitting on top of the roof. 
of our neighbor's house. Oh my God, he's so cute. I love the squirrels. I love them. I could stare at them all day. Anyway, what am I saying? I also feel very tired, which I think is why I'm kind of whispering. I was cleaning. I am gonna show you what I just did to my tampons and my pads because I made it look super chic and it makes me feel better about using them. Isn't that weird? I'm still using them the same way, but psychologically the way that I've stored them, I'll show you. It makes me feel like fancy about using them. But anyway, I just packed all my skincare for Napa. If you wanna see, let me know. I can, oh, you know what? Let's save that for when we're there and I'll show you the skincare that I packed for Napa. But anyway, just packed that all away because I was putting tampons away and then I was like going through things and just organizing the skincare closet in our bathroom. But I thought, let me just do my makeup too, because why not? One less thing to do. I have some time. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. I was gonna go work out, but I think I'm just gonna put my pajamas on and lounge on the couch because I think that that's what my body needs. And I'm just gonna listen to my body instead of forcing my body to do what I want it to do which has been what I've been doing lately. And I just think my body could use a rest, but I bought this little jewelry, jewelry, oh my God. I bought this makeup bag on Amazon. I'll link it down below. We've talked about it before. I have things in here that I take on every trip that I just leave in here, like my Laura Mercier powder, which I will definitely take. Yes, my Charlotte Tilbury spray and my little poofy poof, so. Let's get started. All right, cool. I also have two hair clips. I'm gonna keep them in there because I like to clip my hair out of the face. All right, what do we wanna do? I like to pack makeup that's like not so heavy because I tend to put my makeup bag in my carry-on. So I'm gonna take my Dior backstage because it is very light. This is like a little plastic guy. All right, I need to lay it out first before I put it away just so that I can run through it all. Do I wanna bring a foundation? I don't think so, but I will bring my skin tint just to bring it because it's light and I want, I like to use things on vacation that I don't normally use at home. Also another thing that I like to bring on vacation, makeup that's like pretty much done so that if I finish it, I can just toss it while I'm there and I don't have to bring it home, you know, and use up any space. Skin tint, concealer, contour. Let's do this beautiful color, wine color blush. Let's do a blush, I like these, they're thin, they don't take up too much space. And I like to go through the steps that I do when I do my makeup. So after I do all that, I powder my face, have my Laura Mercier and my little poofy poof there. And I like to do powder products. Let's bring this guy. I keep saying that I wanna use her and I'm just not using her. So I have my powder blush, powder bronzer, and then, yeah, I can use this as a highlighter. That's a pretty highlight shade. Yeah, it's definitely natural enough. Great. So let's play with this Nabla. Cause I like to just like smoke the outer corners with my finger, just cream eyeshadow. That's dark brown. I also need an eyeliner. So I'm gonna bring my Belgian chocolate, I need an eyelash curler, mascara, but I'm not gonna pack mascara yet because I only have one mascara in my rotation. Mental note to me, make sure you pack the mascara before you leave, ho. Brows. Let's do this because I want to be done with it. The Grande Brows, Honeybee Gardens, just because I love it. I'm gonna pack clear brow gel, but I only have one in rotation. So Fortune, make sure you bring this before you leave. Mm. All right, I'm not gonna bring the wine because it doesn't match. And I like my cream to match my powder blush because I like to set my cream blush with a little bit of powder. I do this just because it's lightweight. I hate this damn thing, but I'll bring it. I like to bring things that I hate on vacation because I just have such a good time on vacation that it's okay if I hate a portion of my makeup. It's really not that serious. We need lip liner, we need lipstick. A struggle in and of itself. I'm gonna have to bring a red. So let's bring a vampy red, I think. Cinematic red. Bring my Rimmel cappuccino because it's like a dark brown. That would look good with that. And then I need just like a basic everyday lip liner. Let's just pick like a good nude lip liner. Not Fantasy by Honey Bee. Let's do Muted Mauve. Where is she? Muted Mauve. Okay, all right. I'll bring these three. That's not a lot. A red. I definitely need a nude. Let's do Honey Talks by e.l.f. the lip oil. Let's do a Charlotte Tilbury lip bath because it's been a minute since I've done one of these. Refresh Rose, cause there's like none left in here. Brown and a peach, that's perfect. A brown and a peach. This one looks decrepit also. What is this one? Pillow Talk, I forgot I had these, whoa. Minty, so minty. Let's see if I still love them now that I've been literally just using e.l.f. and NYX and Maybelline. But then I should take like a lipstick lipstick. This was my, no, 
standing ovation. Which one was it? I don't want to wear no doubt. Dirty Talk by e.l.f. This was my Santa Monica lipstick, so I'll bring this as like my nude lipstick. Should I bring Pillow Talk? I don't know. Just bring Pillow Talk too. Okay, that's enough lipstick. We got a red, we got a bunch of nudes. All right, let's pack this and see what I think, if I think of anything else. What about this? I think this could be good too, and then I'm done with the lips, but just because it's, you know, I'm going to drink wine. It kind of matches a little bit of a lip stain. It might just blend in with the day. Black Honey by CoverGirl. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so dark. It's so dark. It's depressing. I need to pack a sharpener for my eyeliner, my lip liner. Brushes, I'm gonna wash them, but I'm gonna show you what it is I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna bring my Hourglass It Cosmetics OG foundation brush. Concealer, I like too. I'm gonna bring this little flat brush because it's easy to pack. This is by It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna bring this e.l.f. to just buff it out before I set it with powder. I have to bring this because I love it so much. I'm going to bring my hourglass dual edge for bronzer and for blush. For eyes, a fluffy brush from It Cosmetics, a JH32 fluffy brush, a small fluffy brush. This is a JH60. I just like to have at least three blending brushes. I don't know. Probably not even going to use that much. Eyeshadow, a flat brush to apply any shimmer, which I might do. This I like to use for highlighter. This is a Luxie Precision Shader. A pencil brush. This is a Firma 205, just to like buff anything out. Can we see? So I'm gonna wash these, and then those are gonna be my brushes. I'm gonna put them in these cases that I like to pack. Throw them in here. And then our makeup is packed for Napa. I did skincare, I did makeup. This is so exciting. If you want to see any of the makeup that I just packed in action, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. And I will definitely do a get ready with me in Napa because I love getting ready there. I sit outside with the birds and the wind. Should I have packed one of these travel ones? No, I'm just gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it. Ooh, maybe I want this eyeliner too though. Easy on the eyes, bronze. Let's pack this too. I don't know. I feel so excited. But yeah, if you want to see this, I will do a get ready with me. Make sure you're subscribed, click the bell. There will be a Napa vlog, travel vlog, get ready with me. All the content in Napa because I like to remember every waking moment of my experience there because it's the happiest place on earth honestly screw Disney no offense to any of my Disney adults but no what are you doing in my opinion you're not doing it right let me show you what I did with my sanitary napkins isn't that sexual but I don't know I just find like if you can make something more exciting than what it actually is sorry that lighting just went crazy then maybe you can be more excited about it and feel better about it but look at this i forgot i had this see-through makeup case that i really have not been using because it's not big enough for my makeup so i decided to just throw tampons and different sized pads in here and i'm just gonna throw this in my backpack and then i'll take it with me you know when i need it it feels like it's more often than it should be but let me show you so i had this case this is my skincare closet whoa there's a lot of shit in here i had a clear acrylic case for my makeup that i'm not using anymore because i've really cut back on my makeup consumption yes i have a lot of makeup a lot of makeup that i do not need but I've gone through my collection and I don't have storage of any makeup in here. It's just in my Ikea dresser. We're making progress. But look, I took my acrylic case and I put different pads. So now I can see. So these are my maxi pads for at night. My thinner pads, but still have wings for like when I'm going out during the day, but I'm medium, medium to heavy flow. And then here are my little panty liners. How nice is this? And then up here, my tampines fit. Let me show you what it looks like when I look at it because it just, it makes me so happy. I put a little bit of light on so we can hopefully see, but like I still have extra tampons here. Let's ignore that shift to this. So look at this at night, I can just pull them from here during the day, pull them from here when I just need a little extra coverage here and my tampons here. I don't know why this makes it very exciting for me. It's been a minute since we've done a what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. You know how I used to do this? I used to do this a lot. I'd pick out my outfits for the week, but tomorrow I need to go get my blood drawn because your girl's trying to get her health in check. So I need to wear something that has short sleeves. I was gonna wear a sweater. I'm not gonna wear a sweater though because then they're gonna tell me that I gotta take my shirt off in one night. Not, what not? And I can't be bothered with that. Cute, right? It's kind of like, I don't know, reddish? a red and white kind of print. So it's a heavier material. It's gonna be 70, 
I think it's gonna be 72 tomorrow, so I'll wear this. I'm thinking like a red blazer maybe with it. Oh guys, I gotta change my phone case, but it's not October 1st yet, but I wanna show you this because I'm hoping to put all the Halloween stuff in this vlog. Although, there will be Halloween stuff all the time throughout the month of October, throughout every month, because we all know I'm the unofficial Halloween queen. But look at this phone case that I got. It has three cats trick-or-treating, and then you see their little evil shadows. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at this ghost cat. So this is gonna be my October slash would not be surprised if I just leave this on my phone case. You guys know I have my little ghost. Let me go grab my ghost in case you missed it. Ugh. My little ghost guy on the bench. How cute. I'm hoping to get all of my Halloween decorations up this week. So here they are because I'm going to make sure that I get them up for this vlog. So insert that clip here because we're just, we're Halloweening. We need to get all the Halloween in as soon as possible, as much as possible. <laughs> Wait to see what the Halloween decorations look like, although clearly you guys know what they look like, but in real time, I have not decorated yet. I'm actually gonna get changed. I'm gonna put on some comfy clothes, take these jeans off, let my gut breathe, because I just feel bloated and disgusting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this vlog. I apologize that they've kind of been a little bit all over the place, but there's so much to look forward to. We're going to Napa. You can bet your bottom. I will take you along with me. There will definitely be at least one, if not two videos made in Napa. I'm also thinking about doing a Cartier jewelry review just because one popped up on my feed the other day. I watched it and in that video, she made so many good points about the jewelry, but I have so much more points to make on top of the points that she made. I will find her video and link it down below, but I have so many points to add on to her points. So I think maybe I should do like a Cartier jewelry video. Let me know what do we think. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Happy spooky season. I'm so excited for all of the spooky season videos that are going to commence after this one. But let me know down below, are you doing anything special for Halloween? Are you getting dressed for Halloween? Are you going to a party? I wanna know. Leave it all down below. I'm trying to do wine festivals, harvest festivals, pumpkin picking, because we didn't do that last year because it rained every single weekend. So I'm praying that we get a nice weekend this October so I can go ahead and live my pumpkin queen fantasies. I love you guys so much. Thanks again for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.